Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about React.js cannot be directly connected to a database. But why? What are the reasons that we cannot connect the React application directly with the database? But before getting started to this, uh, I need to suggest that if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, channel name is Amir Parvez. I'm explaining all the React videos in complete detail with examples and quite uh, explanation in detail. So now you can see I have uh, uploaded a lot of videos on the React.js. So you can find all the topics of the React.js in detail. And also you can find out on the GitHub, uh, Amir Parvez slash React.js complete course, there you can find out all the source code which I shared with you all so you can do practice and understand the code if you miss anything. And also you can find out the presentation folder here, you, uh, you can find all the presentations there. So guys, let's get started and check why we cannot actually connect React database. Not only React guys, but also browser apps are also cannot directly connect to the database. The reason is that because let's assume that we have an uh, any application and let's uh, suppose we have a react application or any uh, application browser app uh, that cannot be directly connected to database because uh, its actual code is directly visible to the end user if you go on the browser and you hit on uh, inspect element let me just show you so if you go here and if you right click on and do the inspect element, you can easily find out the source coded here and you can easily see what source code was there. You can go in the sources and you can find out the detail about, about that uh, website. But for that, we need to also understand that if we have any database credential that uh, uh, would be exposed in the browser and there are a lot of performance issues as well as. So that's why we usually uh, don't do this practice that we actually uh, connect the browser app directly to the database because our credentials are very important. So we need to check the security uh, all the time so that it, our website cannot be easily exposed and easily uh, hackers can attack those uh, data, which, which is very sensitive. So we need to make sure that we could not uh, do such practices uh, when we creating the React applications, right guys? So you can see here I have a one created one React app, but I cannot directly connect to the database. I need to add any uh, bridge between that so that uh, let's suppose I have a database on another server and I have create any uh, you can say bridge like uh, web APIs or like uh, any node.js or anything which which would talk to actually databases but not our application would directly talk because we need to pass the credentials here and uh, that credential can easily be exposed so we need to avoid this practice so guys uh, this is a very important uh, issue and very important thing you need to remember when you're working on the react.js applications you do not directly connect to the database so thank you very much guys in the next video i'm going to show you if you, ha if you uh, have any sensitive data and which is very important like api keys passwords usernames and anything like URLs, how you can actually hide that data on the React.js applications. So uh, get connected to uh, uh, my React video next next video because I'm going to explain you a very important topic, uh, how we can actually hide that data and that cannot be visible to the end user also easily. If they do the inspect element, they can even not see that. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on my channel. And thank you very much. I'm doing all this hard work just you can learn the React uh, because it is going to be a really good technology in the future and also in the current because a lot of many co companies are uh, actually working on this react and there's a lot of jobs of the react just nowadays thank you very much guys have a good day